Wow, what do you know? It's time for the Pocket Knife Show. Hey, it's Mike on the mic again for another episode of the Pocket Knife Podcast. How many of you think an ounce is a lot of weight? It's not. What about two ounces or three? Not super heavy, right? In certain situations, however, these small weights can become a burden, more of a burden than you can imagine. If you'll indulge me, I'd like to talk to you briefly about running shoes. I have owned a few pairs. I currently own a pair of Saucony Type A5 racing flats and a couple pairs of the Saucony Kinvara 12, my current training shoe. Do you know what the biggest difference between these two shoes is? It's their weight. Each Type A5 is 5.2 ounces. Each Kinvara 12 is 7.5 ounces. The difference, 2.3 ounces. Not a lot of weight until you do the math. Here's the story problem. Over the course of a 24-minute 5K race, Mike takes 180 steps per minute, lifting each foot 2,160 times. That's 4,320 combined lifts. With every step, Mike lifts the weight of his shoes. If his shoes weigh 5.2 ounces each, he will have lifted a total of 1,404 pounds over the course of the race. If his shoes weigh 7.5 ounces each, just 2.3 ounces more per shoe, he will have lifted 2,025 pounds over the same distance. How many more pounds will Mike's feet have lifted in this race with the heavier shoe? You can do the math. The answer is 621 pounds. Is 621 pounds a lot of weight? It is. I dare say no one listening to me could lift this weight without assistance. 2.3 ounces makes a load of difference over the course of a 24-minute 5K. In Matthew 11, 28-30, Jesus issues this invitation. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Rest. That's the invitation. Rest for your souls. Anyone hearing me need rest for their soul? We all do, because we're all carrying around burdens. Some, like the 2.3 ounce difference between my A5s and my Kinvara 12s, don't seem significant at all, but they weigh on us from sheer dailiness. We have to deal with these things over and over and over and over and over. Other burdens are just plain heavy. They concern us deeply. A husband who ignores Jesus, an aunt who struggles with mental illness, a son who rebels openly against our values, a co-worker who is hostile toward us. All these, the biggest burdens and the itty-bitty annoyances, are wearying. If we will come to him, God will do for us what Jesus says he will do in this moment. He will give us rest for our souls. Notice the word give there. What we need is not something we can follow ten easy steps to gain. We can only find it if we ask for it. God, give me rest. Give me your rest. And then we receive it as a gift from God's hand. This is not self-help. It is God-help. Our only job is to turn to God when we're weary, giving Him our every burden. I'm reminded of a prayer spoken by Jehoshaphat, king over God's people, when a terrifying thing happened. Facing an overwhelming enemy force coming against his people, Jehoshaphat cries out to God in 2 Chronicles 20.12. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. I don't know how many times I've come back to this story. It comes to mind often. It does so because Jehoshaphat's prayer is such a perfect one for so many situations. God, gas prices are destroying my budget. My retirement funds have to cover groceries and get me around town. I do not know what to do, but my eyes are on you. Jesus, my wife is becoming more and more bitter as the years go by. Her attitude is souring me toward her. I don't know what to do, but my eyes are on you. Father, I've got too many irons in the fire, too many tasks to complete. I need to cut out something, but what? I do not know what to do, but my eyes are on you. Lord, 
Words fail me when I'm with my brother-in-law, who's been laid off for more than three months. I do not know what to do, but my eyes are on you. I'll bet you have an I-don't-know-what-to-do circumstance or two in your life, don't you? What would your eyes on God prayer be about? Set your eyes, the focus of your heart and soul, on the one who can manage each and every circumstance you face day after day after day. Trust in the one who can handle everything. There's one verse more I'd like to bring to your attention. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. God invites us to give him all our burdens. He bears them himself, relieving us of the weight of our worries and fears and hurts and guilt and shame. We don't have to carry them anymore. This is the essence of the good news. All the stuff that weighs us down doesn't have to weigh us down anymore. God willingly and in love sent Jesus to save us from sin and to give us a new life, to make us new and to make us free. Are you burdened? Do you want rest? Jesus says, come to me. Peter echoes him. Cast all your anxiety on Jesus, he says, because he cares for you. Oh no, it's that I know we've come to the end of the show. See you next time.